Well, guys, as always, appreciate your time. And I'll always start out by thanking Jesus for the victory and give him all the glory for, for how we're pushing forward. And I'm proud of our team, man. That was a hard fought battle tonight. We knew going in that it was going to be an absolute um, dog fight. You know, got a lot of respect for the coaches on the other side of the ball. And, um, you know, our guys went out and battled. And, that, and that's a game, you know, we've talked about it before. I mean, winning those games in November um, on the blue, away, wherever it is, that's a testament to our players, the work they put in, and that's a hard game to win, you know? And in the past, to be honest, I know I've been a part of games where we lose those games, where it's, you know, there's turnovers, we drop a punt, when there's a kickoff return, we drop. Like, there's some things that are just uncharacteristic. We had a personal foul penalty that we haven't had happen yet. So there's a lot of things that are uncharacteristic with us tonight. We got to look at the film and learn and grow from it. But I am so proud of our team finding a way to win that game. And that's a testament to our players, our coaches, sinking in, doing it for each other. And I told our team before, I mean, the best teams play hardest because they love each other. It's not because the team they're playing and they don't like him or whatever. And every game you've got different things going on. This team plays hard because they love each other. They don't want to let each other down. They don't want to let their coaches down. Coaches don't want to let their players down. That's this team. And so, so proud of our team with the victory. Um, finding a way to win, gritty win for our team, and and hats off to them. And, and as a coaching staff, I'm excited to look at the film and just like we will every single week, find a way to learn and grow. And when we meet with our players on Monday, that's what we're going to do. And we know we're going to get San Jose State's best a week from now. They're playing some really good football on the road, and we got to play our best as well, and, and we will. And so I'm excited for our guys to continue to look at the film and learn and grow from We've got to have a really good week of practice to earn the right to. But I'm proud of our team. They don't run from hard work. Last week, our guys battled in practice. And especially at this point in the season, everybody's banged up. Had some guys go down tonight. Don't know exactly what's going to happen. Next man up, carry the flag. It's our team. Team, team, team. And we got to find a way to continue to learn and grow and compete and play our best football going forward. What's it do to a team psyche when, like tonight, you don't play your best game, but you still come out with the win? It's huge. I mean, and I talked about a game one of the season against Georgia Southern, you know, where that was a battle all the way really to the end. And our team needed that. And you can't win every game 56 to 14. And obviously we want to. And as coaches, I'm proud of our team started fast of 14-0, had a turnover and things. And then we had to respond. And we didn't, we didn't play our best football consistently tonight. But we found a way to win. And that's a testament to our players' train and their mentality. And we will build more from this game because of the hard-fought battle than we would on a blowout. That's just the reality. And that's not just our team. That's across the country. And so I'm so, so proud of our guys finding a way, battling, coming out with the victory. You know, we talked last week about how when, when Ashton was stopped, you know, Maddox stepped up. And it was almost the opposite this week. You know, they were, you know, Maddox didn't have his best game, but Ashton had, you know, 200 yards again. You know, what can you say about his performance tonight? Yeah, I mean, Ashton Jetty's a warrior. I mean, he's banged up. I mean, he takes shot after shot after shot and just keeps swinging keep swinging, stays in it, trust the coaches, trust his teammates, and, and finding a way to wear down a defense. I mean, even to start the last drive of the game, first play, we give up a TFL, which is the only thing you don't really want to happen in that drive. Stay in it. Trust our training. Next run, pops for a first down. That's a testament to Ashton, our, our O-line, our tight ends, our receivers blocking downfield. Once again, there's a lot of things we need to clean up tonight. There were some drops, some misreads by Maddox, the interception, the fumble. There's going to be all that when we watch the film. And as coaches, I promise you we'll be relentless to get it fixed. But I am so proud of this team, so proud of our guys finding a way to win um, in an environment and a time that in November, this is the compete month. So I told our team, we just stepped into the compete month. What we did prior, it does not matter. It is all about 1-0 each week, and we know we will get everybody's best, but my promise is they will get Boise State Broncos best too. Championship season, championship team, there's always a game or two like this that could swing the other way. I mean, is it... I mean, I don't know if there's a reason or if it was just all guys kind of had some rough plays on the same night or what. But, I mean, just, just to survive in advance and hope, like you said, you can learn from it. Is that just what you take from it, I guess? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, once again, there's a lot of things tonight on film that we did not do well. And from either penalties to missed blocks to missed tackles to missed assignments to not winning my one-on-one, -on -one, BJ, that's going to be across the film. But as a team, to still find a way to win the game – so proud of our team, and we will build on that. Being able to be in the fourth quarter, dogfight, finding a way to win, that's a testament to our players and their work. Down there by the goal line, you, you had Maddox uh, throw it, and then it looked like it got picked off. Did you, did you know they were reviewing it, or when did you find out that they had changed it, and how big of a, a swing was that then to get no chance? And yeah, because they told me right away they were reviewing it. I, to be honest, early in my career, I used to try and look up, look up and watch to see my thoughts. 
I've learned a long time ago to not even look. I'm going to put it in the ref's hands because I don't, you never know how that's going to go. And overturn a huge play in the game, we were able to go punch in for a touchdown. Did they tell you it was he was bumble, fumbling it as he went out of bounds, or what did they tell you about? They didn't tell me. They just told me hey, it was overturned and it's gonna be third and two on, or third third and goal from the two. Thanks. You know, we've been talking about how safe Maddox has been with the ball, and you know, a couple of interceptions were turned over, so it's only one in the stack sheets. But just do you know what was tonight where just something wasn't clicking, or I guess why was why was this tonight so sloppy? I guess. I mean, as a player, you you show up and play the game. I can promise you his prep and how he was this week was the best he's been to this point. And so just like anything, it's a game. And you got to learn and grow from what happens. For us, we're going to look at our process. I'm going to continue to find ways in our process, maybe some things we missed. Okay, do we, do we not focus on something enough? That's my job. And it's our player's job then to take the coaching, to learn and grow from it. So with Maddox and every other person on our football team, there's going to be a lot of things when they walk in this film room on Monday that we got to improve, have to. But being able to find a way to win and our guys being resilient to know even when you're down or even when it's a, a game that it's, it's an absolute battle, tied, going, whatever it is, finding a way to win, trust each other, don't panic, don't go outside of what we want to do as a team, trust it. And so I'm proud of our guys doing that. And once again, we'll look at the film. There's going to be a lot of things on film that Maddox needs to improve on. There's going to be still a lot of things on film that he did well. And that's going to be the same for every single one of our players. Do you think, I mean, Jinty had over 200 yards, three touchdowns, great numbers, but it came on 34 carries. I mean, do you want to have to rely on 34 carries to start running back? Obviously, I'd love to have three touchdowns, three carries. You know, I think that's anybody in the country. But for me, I mean, we're going we're gonna to wear a team down. And if it means two yards, one yard, TFL, and a lot of those is going to be, a, I promise you, there's going to be a missed block, missed assignment, maybe a missed, that, that, that's football. And so whatever it takes for us to find a way to win games, we're going to do. And we got to continue to find ways to make sure we're explosive in our run game. And if it takes 34 carries, we got to protect Ash. But he, I mean, that's him. He's a warrior. He's a fighter. And we're excited to continue to get, we was glad that Breezy was activated tonight. So we're going to continue to have a good week of practice from him, for him to get more run and continue to make sure the rest of those guys are ready to step up. And we need to. Some timely takeaways for your defense. I want the goal line. Obviously, it was huge. Huge. I mean, the fumble on the whatever it was, two-yard line, huge play in the game. I mean, turnovers in general. I mean, and and we talk about relentless effort, explosives, and turnovers. We're up 14-0. Things are going our way. Turnover, and things change, right? And that's that's football. I mean, you look across the country. That's football. Everything is earned, and you better focus on all those little details to make sure those things don't come up, BJ, because, yes, it was a huge play for us, no different than the turnovers that we gave away were huge plays for them. So it's the game, and there's going to be a lot of things we need to look at and improve in. But once again, I keep coming back, I'm really proud of our team. And I know and the, and the type of competitors, the relentless team we have here, I mean, they can't wait to watch the film. I mean, even, even at Locker, we celebrated this win, but everybody's looking at each other saying, Coach, we got to be better. We will. That's the motivation that you don't need to lose a game to have that fire to come in here and improve. And that's what I'm really proud of our team. How would you assess Matt Lauder's game on the passing, passing side? Yeah, without looking, I think Matt did some good stuff. I mean, I know there's going to be some things we look at on film. He had a couple huge plays early in the game, right? Um, but I know there's going to be, he's a matchup nightmare. And I know there's going to be some things on film that he's going to want to improve on. But Matt Lauder's playing really good football right now. Toll losing Tubner, but Marco was telling us, you know, just now he was on the sideline, you know, coaching mm -hmm. up, cheering, you know, just how much when he when he's able to do that, how much does that kind of reduce that emotional toll? Yeah, I mean, Tubes is blue collar. He's the heartbeat of our team, and especially on defense. And so losing him not only for his play on the field was a huge part, but his leadership. But it's happened before because of targeting calls, and we've been through it again. And so it's even him with a brace on and some different stuff, and we'll see what the injury is. We'll walk through that tomorrow. But him, his leadership, who he was on the sideline, him keeping our guys in it, adjustments when guys came to the sideline, that's who he is. He's a relentless competitor, and he loves his team. And that's what Boise State football is built on, blue-collar guys that love their team, and it's not about me, me, me. And then what was kind of Marco bring for you guys? I mean, he gets the fake punt last week. Gets a turnover this week. What's kind of Marco bring in terms of those almost Tubner-like intangibles? Oh, I mean, that's Marco, Jay. I mean, this guy, how he preps, he's one of the best I've ever been around and how he preps himself to play a game. He's got multiple colored pens 
So how he takes notes, how he underlines things, how he highlights them so he, could, so he could not only take notes in meetings, go home and read those notes, make sure he's dialed. Coaching him last year as a linebacker, you can tell him something on Tuesday in a meeting and he will do it in the game because of how he preps, how he loves his team, and that's Marco. And so if it's special teams or defense, he, he is so prepared and ready for those big moments. So when they happen, he's earned them. And that's our team. And we need more guys to continue to grow and how they do it to be like a Marco of Tubes. And it's cool to see our guys continue to grow even in those things. Because no different. We just played nine games. We have to grow to play our best game number 10. And that's going to be in our process. That's going to be in our practice. That's going to be how we live in the training room. We got, just like everybody in the country, we got guys beat up. And that's when you play 10 tough, hard-fought games. That's what it's going to be. And so, I mean, Marco, I cannot say enough good things about him because of his actions and how much he loves this team. And he he earns everything he gets by how he works. It was pretty quick. One of the quicker ones I've had. Thanks, guys.